In today's video we will talk about what exercise is better to delay in reverse aging. So you see this guy is uh, very well and he's in age 66, it's about my age, I'm 67 and he looks better than me so I have to improve my performances and I have to understand what to do, what exercises uh, would help me to look better. As always, I recommend you to download the presentation as PDF file from the link in the description. Then you will get access to sources of information and make your own research because uh, this uh, what works for me maybe will not work for you. So please mind that uh, you have to invest your time uh, to understand all these processes in your body and uh, how to get rejuvenation. And uh, physical exercise, physical activity is, is a big part of a rejuvenation problem. So let's go. Our body tissues consist of specialized cells supported by a framework called the extracellular matrix composed of elastin and collagen fibers. Immune cells move within the extracellular matrix to identify, engulf and digest malfunctioning cancerous and infected cells. Stem cells, both pre-existing in tissues and produced in the bone marrow, replace cells destroyed by the immune system. As we age, the extracellular matrix stiffen. stiffness is increasing uh, due to a replacement of elastin fibers with stiffer collagen fibers and accumulation of calcium oxalate crystals in tissues, leading to increased tissue stiffness. In fully aerobic conditions, most cells generate energy through the Krebs cycle, oxidative phosphorylation, and electron transfer chain in mitochondria. So this is uh, what, how the ATP molecule, so energy is produced in mitochondria. So this is the normal way uh, to produce energy. However, red blood cells, this is the only cells in our body, they are working mitochondria and rely on glucose for energy. Under hypo hyp uh, hypoxic uh, conditions or I mean, shortage of oxygen, mitochondria in cells produce reactive oxygen species, leading to oxidative stress. While enzymes uh, normally protect cells from oxidative damage, uh, chronic hypoxia can transform cells into senescent cells, which use glycolysis to produce energy and protect themselves against oxidative stress. Glycolysis, the conversion of glucose into pyru uh, pyruvate and lactic acid without oxygen, is a fast but a less efficient way to produce energy. Hyperactive uh, cells uh, like cancer cell and the senescent cells, also cells infected by viruses, depend on glycolysis for rapid energy production. Sen senescent cells produce pro-inflammatory molecules triggering inflammation and angiogenesis. This process activates fibroblasts to produce more collagen essential for wound healing, but with age tissue repair becomes compromised due to extracellular matrix stiffening. So, and we, we can distinguish aerobic uh, respiration, aerobic exercises and aerobic expiration with this in presence of oxygen, mitochondria produce energy. But anaerobic respiration, it is shortage of uh, oxygen or, or hypoxia, then uh, uh, glucose is uh, converted to, to lactic acid and this is the way to produce energy quick and without oxygen, but it is not so good way, uh, not very healthy. The immune system faces challenges with increased toxins and pathogens entering through the damaged gut epithelium, known as leaky gut syndrome. So the immune system cannot timely uh, destroy senescent cells. As senescent cells accumulate, chronic inflammation uh, ensures and uh, uh, leading to tissue fibrosis and eventually death of the organism. If the stiffening of the extracellular matrix is the core cause of aging, uh, this in my opinion, the efforts to maintain balance and delay aging should, uh, focus, should be focused on producing elastin fibers, especially in old age. Exercise play a crucial role in combating arterial stiffness um, and progressive uh, overload resistance uh, exercise stimulates um, muscle growth, bone density, uh, over, uh, overall strength. However, intense and regular resistance exercise, especially with progressive overload, 
leading to muscle fatigue may increase arterial stiffness due to metabolic stress and inflammation because you damage your muscles uh, and then you produce this uh, acute inflammation and uh, this inflammation actually contributes to stiffening of your uh, tissues and uh, especially of uh, t uh, t stiffness of the, of the blood vessels. On the other hand, aerobic exercise has been shown to reduce arterial stiffness by in inducing angiogenesis, it is producing uh, this growing of, uh, of new uh, blood vessels, and supporting endothelium cell regeneration. So high-intensity interval training, uh, high-intensity cross-training, and uh, aerobic exercise have various effects on arterial stiffness. So beneficial impact of exercise on arterial stiffness is influenced by the volume of work rather than just intensity of the exercise. The type, frequency, and overall duration of exercise are, are critical considerations. So the choice between high intensity interval training and moderate intensity continuous training depends on factors such as age and health status. In summary, Engaging in appropriate exercise such as progressive overload uh, resistance training uh, and aerobic exercise, high intensity interval training, uh, medium intensity, uh, medium intensity uh, uh, continuous training and sprint interval training and high intensity uh, cross training can help combat arterial stiffness and promote cardiovascular health. It is critical to tailor uh, exercise routines based on individual needs, age, and health conditions. You have to understand how these exercises uh, work, and for you and uh, to set, to decide what to to do, and uh, and uh, you will go get some information in a larger version of this presentation. Here I present only summary, so it is uh, further. I will just uh, show you a little bit that uh, I have some many more slides. And the uh, next video will be about this, um, um, this um, more information about exercise and what you have to chase. So you will get uh, with a PDF file uh, downloaded of this presentation, you will get access to more, uh, to some scientific publications and you can get, can get deeper and make your own research and decide for yourself what will work for you. Okay, that's all for summary and uh, have a wonderful day. Ciao, ciao.